All right, what's going on there, YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel. This week, we are taking a look at some of the least expensive cycling shoes you can buy. But before we get into today's video, if you are new to my channel, make sure you head down below, hit that subscribe button for me. If you're new, subscribe, make sure that little bell icon right that is checked off. That way you get notified every time I upload. That way you don't miss any awesome cycling content we got on this channel. So right on to the video, we are taking a look at some of the least expensive cycling shoes you can buy right now in 2023. And we're not talking about my good old cat-like whispers. We're talking about what's in this box right here. Now, I was reached out to by a company to check out these shoes and try them out and see what I thought. These shoes are about 50 bucks on Amazon. Pretty, very, very inexpensive compared to cycling shoes. Versus my Cat Lake Whispers, it's about 200 bucks for the pair. Even my road bike shoes, my Giro Styluses, brand new, those are 110 bucks a pair. So 50 bucks a pair is crazy. That is insane price for cycling shoes. So we're gonna go ahead and take, take a look at these. See if they're worth your money. See if they're actually good. And take a look, give them a shot. See if they actually ride good. So let's go ahead and open this box up. Take a look at what we got here. So we got these guys, and these are from a company called Kaidu, like Sea-Doo, Kaidu. I don't know, sure, Kaidu. So these are kind of neat little neat shoes. So we got one shoe, two shoe right there. And of course, these are mountain bike shoes, we didn't know already. We got the two shoes. One other uh, nice thing about this is it comes with brand new SPD cleats for you, along with the tool to install them, and it, this little thing. Anything else in here? No, all right, nothing else in there. We'll go ahead and uh, pull our stuffing out of our shoes. So we can take a look at them a little bit closer. There we are. Go ahead and throw these. Throw this box on the ground so we can take a look at them. So, nice shoes. What is this thing? Oh, so they have the studs. Okay, I know what this is. So this, they actually give you this. This is to take the studs in or out that are on the front of the shoe. Oh, that's super cool. Instead of having to carry around a, you know, a wrench or something, you could use this. Nice and plastic, not gonna scratch up your shoes or anything. Cool. Okay, so let's talk about the shoes we got. So Kaido, Kaido I'm gonna call them Kaido, like Sea Do. I don't know how their name is actually is, but we're gonna talk about them here. So these are pretty basic mountain bike shoes. Of course, they have the nice traction on the bottom, so pretty similar to most ones I've seen. They have the studs up on the front, which most of the time I don't run, so. Like these have, these I have the studs, I don't run them though, just because they get in the way, but we'll run them in these. They're not as obnoxious as these are. These ones are pretty obnoxious, these ones I don't think are. So, we'll give these a shot here. Of course, they got the two bolts on the bottom. They give you tons of the bolts that attach to the cleats, because this is four already, and then there's another set in here, so that means, yep, another four on there. So, I think you should be good, pretty pretty good attaching your, uh, your cleats to your shoes. Pretty nice bottom to them, okay. So these ones, they do have the ratchet here. So the way I kind of always seen it is there's kind of three different levels to, a, to mountain bike shoes in general. You start off with just the Velcro, so just Velcro straps, three Velcro straps, pretty basic. Then you go up to the one that has the ratcheting mechanism, like this one, where if you were to where let's ratchet up, it'll tighten down. And then you can pop this little button in or release. That's gonna be your next level. And then of course your top level after that's gonna be like the boa straps like on here. They have the dial and the strap cross. So very simple. So they have a very nice attaching mechanism here with the two Velcros and then the ratchet. Pretty common, pretty common mountain bike one. Works really good. I've rode these, I've rode similar style for a long time and I found them work really well. Other than that, they are very, these are very padded on the inside, which can be a good thing, very padded. Looks like you got tons of ventilation on them, which is nice. You got kind of the hard, the hardened toe, which is good for a mountain bike shoe. So you got that on there to avoid, you know, if you take a toast to a rock strike or something, your toe's not gonna get damaged. Overall, nice looking shoe. So we got those right there. Of course, the biggest thing, so I have a big foot. So I'll say that right now, I have a big foot. So these ones, they size and looks like just Euro sizing is all I give you. So these are 47. These, I think I are the same size. Actually, these are a size down. These are a 46. So this is essentially 11 and a half in US. This is a 12. 11 and a half is pretty good. They didn't have halves. They just had single sizes. So we're going to give us a shot. So I have big foot. I have wide feet. So if this fits, we're uh, we're golden. So just grab a right shoe here. Let's loosen them up a little bit. Let's loosen the Velcro up. This is always the trick with these shoes. It's if they if they fit a wide foot. There are two different, some do, some don't. I'm really hoping these do. Oh, they fit! Yes! <laughs> they fit, that means I can try them out. All right, so they fit true to size. They fit a 12, I have big wide feet. So if you have wide feet or you're concerned about size, these are gonna fit. Good job, good job, good job. I like it when they actually fit me. So we'll take off our shoe here. So there we go. So we need to get these guys set up for 
our pedals. Here's our cleats. Let's pull them out. I'm pretty sure these are very similar to just your standard SPD cleats. They're not the multi-release, they're just the standard ones. So pull that out. I'm gonna use my wrench, I'm not gonna use theirs. I'm going to go ahead and undo everything on the bottom of these, all these other bolts that they gave you so many of, I'm not quite sure why. All right, so we got those all removed, got our new cleats right there. We need to go ahead and mark, of course, the ball of our foot on our shoes here so we can get them set up properly. So I got my blue painter's tape. There we are. Go ahead, slip our shoe on, and you're gonna go feel for the ball of your foot, which should be, should be roughly about there. Should be roughly, you know, roughly like right there. But we're gonna go ahead and put our shoes on here. All right, so I got my ball of my foot marked on both of these guys. So what we're gonna do from there, I'm gonna ratchet these down so they don't get super annoying to me as I'm working on the underside. So then what we can do, we'll go ahead and put them over. We'll do the, was that, the left foot first. These are a four millimeter bolt. Just so you guys know, pretty much all cleats are four millimeters. So if you have, uh, if you want to carry around something, tighten your cleats, four millimeter all day, every day. So like I've said before, I don't put anything on my, on the threads of the, the cleat bolts. I've never have, and I probably never will. So we got our cleats installed. And before we go take them for a ride, I want to weigh them and see what kind of difference we have between metallic whispers, which are essentially a cross country race shoe and these Kaido Kaidu, Kaidu, Skydu, Kaidu, Skidu, and see how much weight difference we have between them. Just out of curiosity, they both have the same cleats on them. So my Catholic Whispers are one pound, 10 ounces, which is gonna turn into 757 grams. Let's go ahead, weigh our Kaidu. Shoes here, one pound, 13 ounces, 830 grams. So realistically, there is not much difference in weight between these, kind of surprised surprised by that. These ones feel quite a bit heavier, but could just be because I've worn these like a million times. So I'm going to go ahead and put them, I'm going to put these on and I'm going to give them a ride on the Superfly, which just so happens to be set up with SPD pedals on there. So we can go ahead and try these out. Then I will come right back here and give you my conclusion on whether I think these shoes are worth your money or if you should buy something else. Okay. So just checking about for the quick span around my neighborhood and my glass is tinted. I really wish I could say I had all good things to say about these. But I don't, I have both bad and good things to say. So, let me get a little more in depth on what I'm talking about. So, the shoes themselves, I love them. They're great, they're nice. I wrote it on the block, they feel comfortable, they feel snug, they have a stiff sole, like a really stiff sole on them too, so you're gonna be good. Along with that, the lugs on the bottom of this, they actually have like non-slip grip on them. So they, they hold pretty good when you're walking, you don't have to worry about slipping. These ones you have a possibility of slipping, I'm just gonna be real. As much as I want to say these have a non-slip grip, they don't, you'll slip. And a lot of mountain bike shoes you will. These ones do a pretty good job. My foot's not overheated, given it's not a warm day today, it's only like 40, but ultimately a pretty nice shoe. I liked it, it's pretty nice. As you can tell, you do hit the front of those, which is probably why they give you the tool, but that's okay, that's what a mountain bike shoe is supposed to be for. Now let's talk about the bad. It has absolutely nothing to do with the shoes. It has to do what with what they came with. And that is going to be, these cleats that came with those shoes. These are the most garbage cleats I've ever seen in my life. I tried to clip in with these. So these are just a standard Shimano M520. Pretty much the most basic standard clip of pile you can buy from Shimano. I could not get one of these to clip in. The left one would not clip in to either pedal. And I took my all figure it out. I messed with the tension on my pedals, tried to figure that out, wasn't working at all. So I went ahead and put these shoes on. I have my cat likes and tried these out because they have Shimano, they actually have the Shimano brand cleats on them and they clipped right in. No issues at all. So then I took these shoes off. Then I took these shoes and flipped them over and I am met with the cleat looking like this and they are chewed up. And I went, what the heck is going on here? And what I found to be the deal is these are aluminum. A standard Shimano cleat is the standard Shimano cleat is steel. Crank Brothers are brass. You do not make cleats out of aluminum. The whole body of this pedal is steel. Anything you're trying to clip into is steel. My plastic cleats from my road bike, the Shimano cleats, they don't even have that much wear on them and I've ridden them more times. I didn't even get a ride on these because I could not get clipped in with how garbage of a cleat this is. So, do not use these cleats. Even if I had gotten clipped in, aluminum is not aluminum is not that strong. If you were to really yank up on those or get in a crash or anything, I guarantee you this cleat's gonna rip apart. 
I'm not gonna try it and I don't wanna try it. It's kind of a safety thing. You don't want this as your cleat. You want something that's strong, especially around Shimano. Shimano's in general, are, Shimano pedals and cleats in general are pretty bulletproof. I mean, it's a steel cleat and a steel pedal. There's nothing that can go wrong. So don't run their cleats. These are the worst things I've ever seen in my life. Do not run these ever, just chuck them. Don't even worth your time to look at them. Just chuck them out of the box, use a set of Shimano cleats, go buy them and just use, if you don't, if you don't already have, if you don't already have Shimano cleats, go buy some. They clip in no problem at all. They feel great. You're gonna want these. Other than that, the shoes themselves are totally worth it. For 50 bucks, these shoes are incredible. These shoes are amazing. Like, for 50 bucks. For 50 bucks, I am I'm impressed. I'm impressed. They look pretty cool too. So I mean this is the black. They also have a gray, which is kind of like this striped gray. So check those out, but do not use the cleats. Use Shimano cleats or Crank Brothers cleats or whatever you're running, and you will be much, much, much happier. So, and then is the cheap is the cheap mountain bike shoe worth it? Yes. Do not use cheap cleats, use the brand cleats and you will be, you'll have a great ride. So hopefully you learned something in this video. If not, hopefully you found something at least entertaining. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Appreciate the support. Any comments or questions, let me know in the comments section down below. Let me answer any questions, love chatting with you as well. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching today.